mapping the planet, tracking space debris, delivering breaking news. Use cases like these and so many more have been built atop Cloud Run, our platform for serverless containers in Google Cloud. So stick around to learn how we're moving serverless forward with Cloud Run. At its inception, Cloud Run was ideal for web services. You issue HTTP requests, the service does something, and returns a response. For workloads like these, Cloud Run was great in that it automatically scaled the web service to meet traffic demands of any size. And it still is. But industries of all kinds wanted that same serverless experience, write code, let the platform scale and do the rest for all workloads, not just web serving. Examples of these include regularly scheduled jobs and scripts. And these jobs and scripts could range from orchestrating internal workflows to doing lightweight data transformations. They might even run on a schedule or they might run when an event happens and they exit when they're done. Now, technically, this was possible with services in Cloud Run. Your web service could respond to an HTTP request, for example, by running the work typically done by the job. But what if the job runs longer than a typical timeout for web services? You'd need to do things like slice the job into smaller pieces. And workarounds like these require code changes, making it harder to adopt a serverless platform. That's why we're building atop this model and moving serverless forward in Cloud Run. With a couple of new features, we now can support workloads like data transformations, database migrations, even workloads that need network file system access. Let's dive in. Two features in Cloud Run expand our serverless support for more workload types. The first is Cloud Run Jobs. This allows you to bring containers with long run to completion jobs, no need to hack around HTTP requests and rewrite code. The second, is a second generation of our Cloud Run execution environment. This environment provides faster CPU and network performance to intensive workloads that need it and lets you mount network file systems. It even brings full compatibility with all Linux features. Let's dig a bit deeper into each. With Cloud Run jobs, imagine you have old legacy scripts that do batch processing. With Cloud Run jobs, you don't need workarounds like wrapping it with a web server. Instead, as long as you can containerize them, you can make them serverless. With Cloud Run jobs, these scripts can spin up automatically on a schedule, run tasks in parallel, and spin down upon completion. This serverless experience gives you more time to focus on the business with the simplicity of provisioning via a single G Cloud command. Now, let's dig into the second generation execution environment. Right off the bat, this environment provides faster CPU and network performance for CPU intensive workloads or workloads sensitive to packet loss. But in addition to this, it also supports all kernel-level Linux features, syscalls, cgroups, namespaces, you name it. This increases the number of migration targets of legacy software that used to not be able to run in Cloud Run due to some missing Linux support. Another important point, mounting file systems, whether or not they are in Google Cloud, is possible in the second generation environment. This means that workloads can use NFS, SMB, SIFS, refuse to access data they might need to process, even if it's outside of Google Cloud. With this support, workloads won't need a rewrite at the storage layer. Taking advantage of all the benefits of the second generation execution environment is baked into a simple argument you provide when deploying to Cloud Run. With these two features, we're enabling more kinds of workloads to do amazing things in Cloud Run, moving serverless forward. To try out Cloud Run jobs, or the new Cloud Run second generation environment, check out the documentation in the description below. And if you want to be notified of what the Cloud Run team comes up with next, be sure to like and subscribe to the Google Cloud Tech channel for future updates. <laughs>